we're going to cut rings out of bottles. It's very easy, but there are a few things that you need. One is a good bottle cutter. Two is a heat source. I like a heat gun that I get at my local hardware store in the paint department. And three, we'll need an ice bucket full of ice and water. All right, let's begin. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put a registration line on our bottle so we know where we've started and stopped on the bottle cutter. I like to set a piece of paper between the cutting head and my bottle so I don't accidentally start my score until I'm ready. We take our pressure pad, we line up our line. The thing about doing rings is you want to score all your rings at one time and we want to try to do it fairly quickly. All right, we get pressure, not too hard, not too soft. We loosen our cutting head so that it can free flow on the bottle. And we rotate toward ourself. Nice and easy, gentle pressure. And we look for the line coming up here. Once we see that line, we stop. We adjust our cutting head about an inch or so. We do the same thing with the paper. Remove our paper, set our pressure pad. The reason we loosen the cutting head so that it can free flow on the bottle is that sometimes your bottles go in and out. They don't always go straight. And so you want that cutter to go with the bottle. If the bottle has a little dip in it, then you want the cutter to go in that dip so you get a nice consistent score. This bottle cutter is adjustable to fit different types of bottles. So we can adjust our wheels, make sure that we're nice and flat against the rails. All right. Now we'll go to our heat source. We're going to turn it on high and we're going to heat all the rings at one time. We're going to rotate our bottle so we get a nice even heat. You want your bottle hot enough that when you can feel the heat when you touch it, but not so hot that it might burn your fingers and be too hot. If your bottle is too hot, it could shatter when it hits the cold water. So we want it just hot enough or warm enough that we can still touch it, but we know that it's hot, you know, warm enough. This process will depend on how thick your bottle is as to what time frame we're looking at, but it's usually just a minute or so. Okay, we're getting pretty close. Keep rotating. We don't want too hot on one side and too cold on the other. Okay, I think we're about ready. Dump it in the ice water and let the magic begin. We're trying to shock the, the glass from extreme heat to extreme cold. If you catch the angle just right, you can see the, the scores are running. They're just not quite ready to pop up. Look at that. Ta-da! 